I'm really bored. What do I do? I apparently make orange juice when I'm bored. Because that's what adults do when they're bored. So we make orange juice. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yep. I don't really know. Um, hi. I have nothing to do today. I have a bunch of junk mail I have to go through. I could be doing that, but I don't really want to. But on the plus side, look at how cute that little binder is. It's so adorable. And I have my little divider all organized. I'm so excited. Yay. And then for reference, the coolest pens ever gifted by Melissa because she's wonderful. Oh, can, can we just like, let's just, that, point three, point three. Do you know how perfect that is for everything? It's perfect for everything. And I've done nothing productive all day except for message a friend. Be like, hey friend, um, I need the homework for GIS and hopefully I can get it. Um, I also still have to call work. Nothing terribly exciting, but yeah. Maybe my friend Quinn will wake up soon and I can go bug them. Who knows? We'll find out. Hello! No. What? No? Who is she? <laughs> Hello. It's me. How are you? I'm good. Good. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised Antonio didn't start singing that Adele song there. Huh? Really? Why didn't you start singing it, Antonio? I have no idea. Why? I'm find my glasses. Hello. Yeah. Those are some nice shirts there. And bottles. So Antonio's aesthetic is bottles. Apparently containers. Bottles and and kind of hipster and wannabe. Yeah, probably. Her hipster. <laughs> We're trying to get people together and awake and functioning so that we can go invade Mallory's house because she has Doge and she has her dog Domino. And yeah, what are you doing to me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There, don't move. You might scare it away. Ah! Why would you do that? No! <laughs> oh my god, I'm way too warm. Come on! I want to go see Mallory and Domino! Do you want a window open? I want to see Mallory and Domino! Here, let's open this. It's gonna smell like. Here, just smell it. Smell it. Smell it. It really does smell good. Yeah. This is pineapple. Re is allergic to pineapple. It can kill Re. Mm. Don't. I don't. love the smell of my own death. Don't mm. kill Rian. Please don't. I'm That's not gonna rude. die from a candle. All hey. For death. Well, mm. when you put it that way. <laughs> Slow death. I sent you so, Antonio slow death. Antonio likes to think that he's a Parks and Rec character. No, I don't. <laughs> you you like literally just told me that. Ah! Sorry. That no. like like a few seconds ago. Do, do you, you want to like sit down? No. Look, look at okay. I sent you a shirt that I really like. It was a mermaid oh. sushi, and she was gonna die. What are you Wonderful. doing? Oh, you're it's like delicious. more of my aesthetic. So beautiful. Yeah. More of my aesthetic. Eighty percent aesthetic. We it's should go see Mallory. No, I got it. It's never too bright. Re. It's what? really pretty. Do you remember last night with the photo and the NSYNC song? Weeaboo. It's now stuck in my head, and I'm Aww. really mad. I don't even remember the NSYNC song, the, um, but I remember the photo. There was that, the picture of Amy. Yeah, I remember and, the photo. And one, yeah. yeah, I don't so, remember the song. Fine. Wait, wait, wait. This is Quinn. <gasps> is that this shark? is Re. Oh, I'm Re. <laughs> And that's shirt. Antonio. Oh, I want that shirt. That's us. That is There's us. There's a shirt somewhere on that site that has a shark and it says, I hope Senpai notices me and it's like bright pink. I hope. And 
I hope you all purchase that shirt. Uh, we all. Yeah, okay. Like, we're gonna um, own this. I really Please. hope that us becoming cops is gonna end up better than Andy trying to be a cop. Yeah. You're you're gonna be cops? Yeah. Yeah. Right oh. now, today. we decided as soon as at like buy that three shirt. As soon as you buy that shirt, that's <laughs> there great. There's nothing on TV. So we were listening to NPR, and we decided we were gonna be cops. That's great. I'm just gonna consist of one episode. You know they'll do that. Yeah, they'll um, have the like one offshoot episode. Okay, but you're one. you're assuming that I'm writing this. Okay, but you could be writing this. You could be. You could be like completely writing this entire thing. This could be all scripted. It could be. It's so wonderful. It's actually not scripted. I don't want Honestly, an episode of myself, so it, stop writing it for me. Stop it! Put that pencil down right now! <laughs> I don't have a pencil in my hand! <laughs> See, these poorly written characters. Yeah, this is bad. Hey, look, I wonder who that is. That's probably Mallory saying, hey, where are you, friend? Tell her I can't find my glasses. That totally didn't sound scripted. No. It totally didn't. Hey, well... Tell her I'm busy sucking dick. Don't actually tell her that. No, not. tell her that. <laughs> Quinn's yeah. got a whole line busy of dicks sucking that need to be dick. sickened. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually gonna do that because I was trying to keep it like... PG-13. Oh, you could bleep it out. I haven't learned how to do that yet. I... Yeah. Just every time Quinn says, if uh, if you're gonna have me in your vlog, you should probably learn how to bleep things because I <laughs> someone teach me how to bleep out. things out. Oh god. Every time I'm like on screen and and my mouth is open, just this. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. Uh, okay, come on. Do, do you do you absolutely totally need your grasses? What did that even mean? <laughs> do you know. absolutely need to cut your own grasses? <laughs> I do need to grow grasses, thank you Kokoro. very much. I said Kokoro, that means part, you fool. I think, I hope. It, it does, actually. Oh, if there's anything I remember from three, four years of Japanese, it's it's that, wow. unfortunately. If Kokoro didn't mean heart, that'd be embarrassing. It would be embarrassing. You know what else is embarrassing? The fact that I'm wearing this, like, hoodie with my, with these, with yeah. the skirt, but yeah. that's okay. It's cute. Yeah. Come on, it looks Quinn. good. What feels like communication? And just leaving alone is not the same as coming. Are you behaving me? Maybe. Giving you just good continue, life advice? Continue. Okay. But yeah, no, like, I agree with like the whole wound festering thing. Yeah, like, like if you just oh, you know, just leave it alone and it'll get better. No, it won't. Like, yeah. there's there's a certain amount of care that you have to put into it. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. There's no, some no. shit. There's some stuff that's just not gonna go away, and there's yeah. nothing that you can do to change that. And, like, you know, you lose people over that sometimes because they don't know how to, like, fix things. And you're like, well, this, it's, like, right here. Yeah. We need to do something about it. Yeah. And they're like, it'll be fine. Just, no. So they give you these shitty platitudes that are all, like, broken and don't actually work. Yeah. And, you know. Exactly. My, I was referred uh, by someone to this study that Kaiser did. Back in, like, the very early 90s. Mm -hmm. Um. And it was, it was called like the, I don't remember what the study was called, but it came out like an ACE, a score like ACE, huh. for a, a first childhood um, experience. Yeah. And it's only like 10 questions of the like 10 most like common types of abuse that, mm -hmm. that like 300 Kaiser members suffer. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of narrow, mm -hmm. um, but uh. My therapist like expanded on it and was like, yeah, like there are obviously more adverse childhood experiences than just these ten. Yeah. But um <laughs> and so so I got curious and I went home and I took it. And basically what they were trying to test was the correlation between these, you know, ACEs mm -hmm. and health of life. And Oh, wow. And, and that kind of shit, yeah. That's crazy. So I went home and took it. And you should link this to me. Yes. So that I can link it to the people who watch my really crappy video vlog. I'm going to score like 6 to 8 out of 10, depending on some small factors. Yeah. Because uh, there were certain things that they were just a little bit vague about. So mm -hmm. 6 to 8. Anything over 4. And like the scoreboard goes 1 to 4. Yeah. And anything over a four they're like oh yeah you have like a almost 400 times more likely 
you know, likelihood of getting some sort of respiratory illness. Um, wow, you're that's crazy. Some like 25% more likely to get sexually assaulted in your life. Oh wow. Or, uh, <laughs> oh, this one was my favorite. Uh, you're one thousand. It was twelve thousand two hundred and sixty times more likely to commit or attempt suicide. I had an wow. 8 out of 10, or you had a 10 out of 10, Antonio had a 9 out of 10. Oh, uh, God. And we're all living together. <sighs> yeah. Oh, man. That's some fun shit. Uh, so. Note to self, please remember how to bleep out stuff. <laughs> and so, uh, the dog, we, we left it out because our kitchen table, it's like a really high kitchen table. And <laughs> the dog who was like domino size, only like wider. She got all four paws up onto the table to eat this, this chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. And she, she ate like several slices of coffee chocolate cake. Oh cake, no. Cake, cake. Um, that and sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first thing if, she if a little hyper. Yeah. Maybe and the coffee like helps the belly of the puppy. What? Maybe the coffee helped with the chocolate part. I have no idea. To be fair. Or like, maybe it wasn't real chocolate. Cheap fair, people. When, when we first got her, we brought her home, let her out of the car, and she promptly ran up the stairs. Hey, Domino. Fox poop. Domino came the first home. Thing she did. Okay. Yeah. I think it was like eight. I don't know. I've been like nine. I kind of feel like I want to get like one of those um, tethers for the outside. Yeah. So I can like kind of like run back and forth and play with him and not worry about him running off into the sunset. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> what are you does, doing to my jacket, bro? Does he fetch? Do you know if he fetches? <laughs> no idea. He doesn't like the ball. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a little bit. That's fine. It looks good though. <laughs> why are you watching me pee? Why is everyone watching. watching this? What? So why is everyone watching this? <laughs> as we can and Mallory's running with Doge and yeah it's, so, it's good it's good Seth has no interest it's also really cold yeah he really doesn't Domino sit Oi, sit dogs inherently have no interest in me <laughs> none at all I wish dogs had no had interest in Doge, me seven. all the interest I don't know I guess I'm more of a cat person What? Hey. Oh, speaking of things that involve electronics. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. I feel like every time you do that, you're a frog. I don't know where you put your phone. Is it right here? That's my phone. <laughs> That's Kelsey's phone. Fuck. That my phone is over here. I do have a phone. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Take my really shitty HTC. That's, that was the plan. Like, I, I, I apologize Ow. that you decided to steal my really bad phone. It's not stealing, it's fine. Somebody
Somebody sent me a Snapchat. I'm really excited. Will it be appropriate? I have no idea. I won't do that. Oh. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. I'm the cutest cute. boy. So, here are the tickets. And Kelsey's gonna go buy hers tomorrow, probably right before <sighs> class. Ren, one of us is gonna win. And one of us is gonna win. And we're gonna split it 50-50. And Kelsey is probably, oh. Oh man, the things that we would do. Mallory, let, tell the internet world what you would do if you won. Investment banking. Right. My money would make me more money. That is the plan. The other yeah. part of it, after I spend it and buy a house and a schoolie that is properly fit out and maybe like a really nice collar. <laughs> For Domino. For Doge. For Doge. Um, I would probably buy the other let rest of it after investment banking, um, like assets, like gold. I'm not a very generous person, so I probably wouldn't do a lot of donating mm -hmm. unless it made me a lot of money. Yeah. Not the donating, but the banking. Sure, yeah. What would you do if you won the Powerball? <laughs> uh, no, like, like for real. I would also make sure my friends all have some cash. Just FYI. I'm not. I'm not good at the for real part, the only thing that's coming to mind is to buy an old castle and just, and then <laughs> get a shit ton of gold and just hide the gold <laughs> in the basement. So what you're saying is you would become a dragon. Am I not already in some Oh, right, manner? yeah, true, <laughs> true. Are you dragon Ken? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Hoard things. No, I just hoard things. I'm like things. a dragon. Are, are you beast Ken? Technically, the term is other kin, which is an umbrella term for all. Yeah, but I mean, it can get specific. <laughs> I, I know it can. You can have some of that Vlada cocoa. There's, there's, a, there's a toilet in there. That's what Domino does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. My cat tried to find the toilet. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a thing. Classes? What? What? Your classes? I've tried three times to record this video. And I really hope that it records this time, because I've said the same thing three times, and I'm computer and camera illiterate, and I don't know how to edit videos, and I need to do like a class or something. Who knows? I don't know. But apparently, like, I'm tired, and I'm just gonna do whatever now, and maybe I'll throw a picture of like my cat in here something I don't know I'll figure it out and then you'll get this in the morning